guys and welcome back to the journey of self i am your intuitive tarot reader as well as your host brandy and this is the journey okay guys so as promised i did actually launch the journey of self jewelry collection in july it has been up on the website thejourneyofself.org you can go there and you can buy the jewelry directly off the website what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be featuring a piece of jewelry every time i do the readings okay currently on the website we do have 80 custom pieces of jewelry on the website earrings um bracelets anklets things of that nature some are fashionable such as the savannah and the set collection and others are spiritual such as these two featured here on the end such as the four elements bracelet as well as the manifestation bracelets okay so this is the piece that i would like to feature this month the manifestation bracelet all right as you guys can see this is a mixture of small beads as well as larger beads okay this bracelet is about 11 links or 11 rings I should say and can be customized where you can add rings or take rings away you can also get this bracelet featured without the larger stones okay in that particular case it looks like this the larger stones are going to be absent to be absent So this is going to be the Leo love reading for the second half of August. All right, I'm just shuffling, getting the cards out. All right, so the first card out is the Four of Pentacles. This is the Bold Tarot, by the way. Second card out is the Six of Cups. All the cards that came out, I'm taking them. I usually take five, but I'm going to take all of them. The Seven of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. The Emperor. The Judgment card. I want to show you guys these two cards. And you guys tell me if you can notice anything about the both of them. Because I've already pulled these three um, Doreen Virtue Romance Angel cards for you. If you guys can tell me anything about these two cards, there's something very interesting about both of them. Well, if you said these people, these people, there are people in the cards and both cards on their knees, you'd be right. So what am I getting first off and foremost from this reading? The Four of Pentacles. There is somebody in your midst, whether it's you or the other person, somebody's being selfish. They're holding on to their purse strings or their emotions very tightly. And I also hear time, time as well. They don't have the time to spare. This person acts like they're extremely busy all the time. Or this could be you doing this, acting like you're extremely busy all the time. You just don't have the time. And there was a, a rekindling of some type of relationship. This could have been a past relationship that you've had with somebody that's coming back. This person is trying to come back into your life or this person came back into your life or you're trying to come back into this person's life. This is somebody you could have known from childhood or this could be a soulmate. This could be something that you're learning. This person could be the runner, soulmate. But I don't feel like it's that deep. I'm just saying from certain cards here, it could look like it's that deep. I don't think it's that deep, but I feel like you also have a history with this person. So it feels that deep. This person is selfish in certain ways, or you're being selfish. Okay, that's first and foremost. And you're turning this other person into a beggar. 
or they're turning you into a beggar. We're not focusing on what the card says right now. We're looking at the repeated theme. People on their knees, people asking for something. The seven of cups always talks about choices, only one being correct. You may have had a choice with this person in reference to this person and somebody else. I'm not really sure, it doesn't really matter. I feel like this person may be an illusion or either you're not being honest. Three of cups. I feel like this person comes off as like um, serious because they're controlling and overbearing. So they come off as serious, like they're looking to really move ahead, right? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, this person is quick to lose their temper, so they're not mature emotionally at all. This person has very little tolerance for other people's mistakes. They can make all the mistakes in the world, they can live their life however they want, but when it comes to other people, how dare they, as far as this person is concerned? This person is rather ignorant, may even be a little loud and boisterous. And I feel like this person likes to make things look a certain way. They, they do things for appearance as opposed to actually wanting to do these things. Person is, a, you know, hard to, hard to, uh, to persuade. You know, their, their thoughts are, are rather rigid and, and fixed. This is who they are. And this person is not the most educated person. This person is more or less ignorant. Understand? They give the appearance that they're all that, but they're not necessarily. They're just a little bit, they're rather ignorant and closed-minded. And I do believe that either this person overindulges in something or this person socializes and you're not at the top of the list of people to be socialized with, or this person may have somebody else. They're not really interested though. That's why they're so selfish with their time, their emotions. I feel like they gave you the illusion that they chose you, but they have not. They have not. As a matter of fact, to get this person to make a choice, is like ridiculous. They only choose themselves every time. They're like this type of person. If you ask me, you know who I'm choosing. That's what I hear when I think of this person. And it's like, really? You can't, that doesn't work in love. I feel like you guys have to let go of your past. I feel like you guys have to let go of your past. Um, I feel like, and if you guys are going to gain anything monetarily or if anything, money or something like that is coming, definitely keep it to yourself. It's only going to prolong this person's stay and they're definitely not serious about you, right? It's only going to encourage them to stay and take. So be careful because you guys, I feel like, may not be taking responsibility for your emotions. In other words, you're relying on other people to make you happy. You're not really ready to make decisions and, and stand on your own two feet necessarily in some sort of way. It may not even be monetarily. It could be like emotionally or or, or mentally. You're, you're looking for a codependency in a certain way, maybe not even consciously, subconsciously. However it goes, you found it and this person is not nice. They're not going to help build you up and make you strong. As a matter of fact, the situation is actually looking like unrequited love. And expressing your, your romantic gestures will probably give you more of a clue to something nice. I guarantee you this person may not even say thank, thank you, nor will they return the gesture. They might not even show up for you to actually perform the gesture. They may say they're coming and they won't even come. That's weird because I don't know where that came from, but try that. That's weird, right? Like do something nice to this person. I bet you they won't even show up. 
okay? I feel like you guys, you know, you may have been trying to call this person back into your life for quite some time, and now they're here, and you feel like it's a wish fulfilled. And for the most part, it is. But I think that you're missing the actual um, reward. The reward for them coming back is the fact that you can call anything into your life that you desire. However, you have to make your intentions clear. You have to set your goals clearly. You have to know exactly what it is that you want. And that's where you're, that's where you're confused. You don't know exactly what it is that you want. I feel like as far as money goes and possessions, they're safe. But you can't trust anything financial with this person because they don't even really have your best interest in your heart at hand. They don't, they don't care. I'm sorry, guys. I have to say it. They don't really care for you. They, they're tolerating you. And they don't have much time to do that. I feel like you guys need to watch out because you may be coming into um, you may be coming into a large sum of money that's come up twice already. Somebody may be receiving some type of uh, wealth, some type of gain. Maybe it could even be a, present, a promotion at work, a bonus, inheritance, anything of that nature, something of that nature. You're receiving some type of monetary wealth, and this person, <laughs> check it out. This card represents this person from the beginning. The Four of Pentacles. This person could possibly be an earth sign. But in this particular in this particular situation, this is love. So what do I have to say about this? This person is holding on to these pentacles very tightly. So sharing with the selfish person is not the best idea. Right. That's why I'm saying that these things may be coming. You guys are survivors. You've been through things and you're going to continue to get through them. All right. You guys don't let this jade you. This is a lesson that you had to learn. This is what wasn't meant to hurt you and break you down. It was a lesson you had to learn. You learned a lot about yourself, you learned a lot about your abilities. OK. And you do have the ability to do great things. However, the Six of Pentacles talks about reciprocity. The Emperor. You guys are, I feel like, about to turn into the Emperor. That's where your energy is going. Um, there's going to be some type of Emperor energy. It may also be that um, maybe your, your, your male parent is going to bestow you with a gift or um, you're going to inherit something. And that is going to lead to a different type of stability. At the end, you guys will make a choice that will bring renewal to your life. These people are standing up. They're no longer on their knees. So it's going to get better, but you have to keep your eyes open and stop, stop ignoring the fact that maybe this person might not be the best. You guys have to release and heal from your past. You experience more love in your present moments when you forgive and you learn. Right? That's what we were talking about. Let's, let's clarify the Six of Pentacles right now. Okay, so you guys may be the ones dealing with life on a very, on a very, um, on a very superficial level, right? You're looking at things that because they're shiny and, and and beautiful as opposed to actually being good for you. Okay, um, I do see that you guys. Feel like you guys may be a little bit upset about things that didn't work out in your past and that's okay you gotta understand that you know you guys may have overextended yourself and take and taken on burdens that really didn't belong to you i don't know 
maybe this person lives with you or staying with you or you're supporting this person in some type of way, even if it's emotionally. Uh, you have to make the decision to put the burden down to stop taking it on all, all on yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive your partners, forgive your past and learn from it. Sit down and think of these situations as lessons as opposed to losses. If you guys are thinking about doing new creative projects um, in a team setting or at work, go for it. Um, even if you're thinking about doing a new project at home, go for it because it's a great possibility for um, these things to uh, take shape and really, you know, return to you um, a good profit. Why? Through good planning, as well as uh, careful preparation. The uh, hmm. I once heard someone say the best way to get over someone is to get under someone new. I don't necessarily believe in the under someone new part, but I do believe in the best thing to do. And it's funny because this card is at the bottom of the deck. I'll show it to you. Okay. I don't know if you guys understand this, but as a tower reader, this could mean two things. This could mean a very new spark of passion, romantic, or this could mean a new spark of passion, creative, right? However, this card, as well as the Ace of Wands in general, is very phallic, as we say in tarot. What is that? Oh, and this is on the front of the deck. I don't know. These cards, look. See what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles, right? The Three of Pentacles just came out, right? Wow, that's crazy. First of all, first of all, the Magician, wow. Oh my God, this thing is reading your reading and it's not, these cards are not even supposed to be out or I don't even, that's weird. I don't even know why they're turned that way. And I never do weird because it's not weird. Everything can pretty much be explained if you look at it really hard, analyze it. I'm an, I'm an Aquarius, so... I believe in logic, right? But this is weird though, because these are these are cards from your reading. That's sick. And these are not, they're not out, but they these are cards that are clarifying. All right. These are cards that are clarifying. That is crazy. Okay. However it goes. I don't know if it's confirmation for you guys, but it's definitely confirmation for me. When I read it, I read it like this. And this is what I was trying to say. Instead of getting under someone new, as I said from the beginning, I don't necessarily believe in that part, but I do believe in starting something else creative. When you've lost something, I believe on moving on and creating something new in your life, beginning a new passion, bringing some new creativity, some new fertility into your life. I believe in that because I know as a magician that I can create any energy in my life that I desire. So what does that mean? It means that I have all the tools I need to create the life that I want. Okay, what does that mean? Go out, be happy, be merry with your friends. Go out and be around people you know care for you. The tower, let it happen. Do not try and resist the tower moment. There's no reason to. It can be resisted. I've seen it. I've seen people, example, I've seen people um, go into a situation where I've seen people go into a situation where um, this is weird how the camera lightens up when I put this up here, right? That's weird. I just wanted to see that again. And then it darkens again. Anyway, I've seen people go through things where um, it was a clear tower moment in their life. Something really, really bad happened in their relationship. It should be more than obvious that that relationship is over. However, they hold on to it even though it's not good for them. So yes, people talk about, you know, tower moments, but I always say, unless jail, incarceration, death, or, or you know, bedridden sickness, that sometimes people do ignore tower moments. They do, you know, I, I've seen it happen. However, you guys need to, to you know, encourage yourself to go a different route, work on something new. If there are new partnerships that are uh, in your life that are trying to come about, work on that, work on those things. Why? Because these things will bring 
um, a renewal and a, a freshness into your life. Seriously. Okay. That was just the weirdest thing. All right, I'm going to move on now because that weirded me out. Like, I am, um, when it comes to things like this, like the esoteric and spiritual things, I was extremely, I grew up in a very extremely religious family. So I've seen and heard a bunch of things. Okay. So just in general, these things do not necessarily, um, they never made me actually feel any particular way. I've always been very open to uh, spiritual things. Ever since I was a child, obviously, I'm gifted. So um, I've always experienced certain things. Um, my 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 ancestors were gifted. So in my family, this is a, this is a normal thing. It's not an abnormal thing at all. It's a normal thing. So, but that was weird to me. How it just spoke your entire reading at the top of the deck and they those cards were never out because i picked one two three four five six seven these cards from the beginning because i said i'm going to take everything that's out and then i put you know everything back and went on about my life and at the bottom of the deck was the ace of wands i saw that when i put the cards over there from the beginning all right let's move on so at this point we're clarifying the emperor. Why is the emperor here? We've already clarified the six of pentacles. Only to be clarified by the three of cups again. As I said, what's going to help you move on and take control of your life is to actually go out and try and, you know, re-energize yourself through friendships and teamwork and team projects and things of that nature and things of that nature social events and trying to actually bring in your own harvest your own abundance i feel like this person once again clarifying the emperor this person has showed up once again in the reverse this person in his reverse is maybe a fire sign this person may very well be a fire sign um person has come up the same exact way as they did before this person is you know very small-minded and that's another thing you guys are fire signs so you guys can you know look at a bigger picture don't try and be revengeful or angry at this person don't worry about that okay whatever all right if this person tries to take anything from you be careful of this person, though. Make sure that they do not try to, um, you know, maybe take you to court or something of that nature or or do anything, you know, to you that could that could cost your freedom or your morality. Take the high road. OK. But you guys need to be aware that if you don't leave this person alone, this person could result in you losing not only um, just being emotionally hurt, but losing things monetarily and in your physical, your physical realm as well, like losing your possessions as well. That's why I said if anything comes into your hands that is going to um, make you more abundant, keep it to yourself. It is not to be shared. Do not even let this person know because it's only going to prolong their existence in your life because this person is here to see what they can gain, not to really care and love and all that other stuff emotionally. All right. I feel like some of you may be already experiencing credit problems and money problems because you've been giving to this person. No, no, no. Only give what you can afford to give away. I feel like you guys are... Um, yeah, you guys need to refocus and get yourself together. If this person is encouraging you to spend money. Huh. Hex them, where is theirs? don't give only what you can afford there's no reason to try and impress this person there i'm sorry to say it they're no one to impress you need to get more information on this person and there can be a peaceful resolution but you need to um 
really be honest with yourself. I'm going to pull two of these spirit message cards and then this a love reading is concluded. I will be doing a life path or a, you know, general career type of reading for you guys. Um, you guys can tune into that. That will be um, up as well. Okay, relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. You guys should definitely focus on the colors green and yellow this month, okay, for the rest of this month. Wear them, meditate on them. It's going to help. The next card is memories. Your memories are like diamonds in a treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with loved ones who are here in spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop energy or love that you have for one another. All right? So some of you may have lost someone in the past and felt like you wouldn't find that again. Then here comes this person. Maybe you've just experienced this loss and now you're trying to dig into your past and... Um, receive you know trying to like just make up for that love or get love don't bother not with this person they're only gonna uh, prolong your pain they're only gonna make you hurt even more that's been your love reading guys have a great rest of your day and namaste namaste